Okay, Aquarius, so this will be ooh, your reading for taking these. <clears throat> your reading for the third week of September. Spirit, what messages do we have for Aquarius for the third week of September? What messages do we have for Aquarius for the third week of September? I'm getting that you guys are kind of like just not happy with uh, the way your love life is going in the current moment, but remain optimistic because you will be surprised here in the near future. Um, but you do need to heal, take some time to heal because Otherwise, you guys can miss out on what's meant for you. Well, you won't miss out on what's meant for you because what's meant for you won't pass you. It's just that the timing, right person, wrong time. Don't overindulge in love. Um... What I'm getting is that you guys are needing to take some time to heal. And you are learning to let go of a painful cycle uh, that came to an end and you're no longer looking at it from like a victim situation, like uh, looking at yourself as a victim, but you're looking at yourself basically like as a survivor. Um, not that it was something that like you survived with your life, but you're just changing your percept your perception on the situation. You're changing the way that you looked at the situation all this time. And it's allowing you to heal because um, it, it, I'm getting like this me, 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 uh, type of attitude. And it's not necessarily like you guys have been like, um, it's not that you guys have been like whining or anything like that you guys have had all the right to be upset for what you have been through but we can hinder ourselves by staying stuck in this victim uh, mentality and it's like at a certain point we have to move forward it's like yes acknowledge what happened we understand what happened it's not right but let's move forward because we need you to heal because it's a lot of great things that are headed your way because it's a lot of stagnant energy. It's right now you're lacking, you're seeking clarity. You're seeking clarity. You, I'm, I'm getting that like you feel kind of down in the current moment and you're seeking clarity um, regarding people that you have really loved and trusted and they led you astray. Basically, that's the way that I'm going to put it. Like, they led you astray. Like, they lied to you. They mislead you. It's like, uh, whether it's, it's love, I'm getting that it's a bomb. The, I mean, this could be, uh, it's, I'm getting love. But apply it as you could, but I'm getting love mainly. Um, but I'm getting that you're like this love did not turn out the way that you wanted it to. And it's like you are not happy about it at all. But it's like at the same point, who can say that they really put in the work in this relationship? Who can say that they really express their emotions honestly, open, and truly in this relationship? Who can honestly say that they gave their all? Because I'm seeing that this is a true soulmate. This is something that should have been a wish fulfillment, but 
it didn't turn out that way. And the reason why it didn't turn out that way is because no one was willing to put in the work. Um, no one was willing to let their guard down because of past traumas. It's like because of what you have been through in the past. So you kept your guard up. You kept your guard up. You didn't have anyone that you could rely on for any uh, solid advice as well. So there was no solid um, solutions to the situation as well. So it's like emotions came to a head. No one was willing to work together. And it was just really because you didn't know how to. It was like no one knew how much to put into this situation. But I'm seeing that it's like someone was like this. This was definitely, yeah, yes. Um, I'm getting, yes. It's, it's meant for you and this person to be together. It's meant for you and this person to be together. It's meant for you and this person to be together. The issue is that you guys didn't know. It, it, and that's why I was getting the me, 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 me. It, it, both of you guys. It wasn't just you, Aquarius. But since it's you that I'm doing the reading for, um, I don't necessarily, I don't address cross watchers. I put in the title Aquarius. This is Aquarius, sun, moon, rising. It's Aquarius read. If a qua if a quash if a cross watcher watches, that's on them. But this is for Aquarius. This is your message. But the message I'm getting is that the universe wants you guys together. And that's why I was getting right person, wrong time. Neither one of you guys knew how to communicate properly. Both of you guys were afraid to be open to express yourself lovingly. Like, none, neither one of you guys, uh, like, express your love to each other. But this is your true counterpart. And you're saying... No, this isn't the one. This you like you're like no, 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 no. This isn't there a disappointment, you know. This person did this, this person did that. But I'm seeing here shortly, you will take the time to go within to look back and reflect on your actions as well and what actions did you play in this situation that caused this painful ending but i'm getting that it's not fully an ending because you guys are truly meant to be together and as the scales are balanced meaning like as karma is played out you guys will come back and be united together right now the time is that right now it's time for you guys to heal and to really take a deeper look at yourselves and understand that the actions you have taken in the past was not healthy for a peaceful, happy relationship that either one of you were seeking. A relationship takes honest open communication it takes for people to express their love you have to work together for a relationship to be successful you have to know how much to put in you have to know how much to take out But I'm seeing that a new cycle will be starting and you guys will learn not to be so defensive. You will put down your guard with this person. You will learn to um, open up and um, like things will balance out in this relationship. And I'm seeing you guys coming together and like things like it, it, like it will be celebrated. It will be 
like a new, it will be how it should have been. Like this will be a celebration between friends and family. And it's like a lot of success. Like this will be how it should have been because you guys will be completely different than how you were before when you initially met. So this is what I'm getting for you, Aquarius. Um, let me see. I'm getting these cards, the shadow cards. Let's see. This is looking like you guys have some shadow work to go through. One more shuffle. Your body language says so much. So this person, I don't need your approval. I do wish you well. I took the easy way out. And one more. There it goes. I pretend I don't care. I want to tell you so much. So this person will be coming back. Um, and I'm getting like, they have in the past, like sought out the approval of others. And now they don't care about all of that. They know you very well where they can, um, understand what is not spoken. They do wish the best <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Something was going around my job. Um, but they do wish the best for you. In the past, they took the easy way out. They weren't ready to be open and express their feelings and be honest about the way that they feel. And they pretend like they don't care in the current moment. But they really do want to tell you so much. They want to tell you how much they love you. They're afraid of losing you. But right now, they're just, their ego is still in the way. They still have some healing and growing to do. So I'm seeing this cycle isn't fully completed yet. But there is a reunion in store for you too. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. Please like, share, and subscribe. Tune back in. I do appreciate all the love and support, and thank you.